Hello, class. Our next president is William Henry Harrison. Okay. And you probably know the most basic trivia fact about William Henry Harrison, which is he was the first president to die in office, and he is the president with the shortest term. William Henry Harrison was born February 9th, 1773. He died April 4th, 1841, age 68. So for home state, he's an interesting thing because he's born from this prominent Virginia family. However, he's going to be the first governor of Indiana Territory. Uh, but later, he will be serving in the House and in the Senate for the state of Ohio. So there are several states that can lay claim to what his home state is. Now, he is going to be known primarily as a military figure, even though he's going to have quite a bit of experience as a political leader. Uh, you know, he was a governor, house rep, senator. Um, but he is going to be known for the Northwest Indian War and the War of 1812. So he has a wife, Anna uh, and whom he's going to have 10 children with. Now, when William Henry Harrison runs for president, he tries to make him seem like he's from the frontier. He's this total, every, like, a, an, an everyman. And this is basically made up. He is from an incredibly elite family. His father is Benjamin Harrison V. He's a founding father, he signed the Declaration of Independence. Okay, so he is not treated with the same, like, Nepo baby energy that's given to John Quincy Adams here. And of course, his grandson, Benjamin Harrison, same Benjamin Harrison, will become president later on, being the only grandfather-grandson presidential duo. So his term of office, March 4th, 1841 to April 4th, 1841. He has the shortest term of any president. And his vice president is John Tyler. He's going to get his own video as well. So William Henry Harrison, during the War of 1812, has an event called the Battle of Tippecanoe. Okay. Um, this is actually right before the War of 1812 and which it is the fighting of Native Americans as part of the T Tecumseh's Confederacy. In this battle, uh, you can say the U.S. was victorious, but it's a heavy toll. More Americans die and are wounded than Native Americans, but it is trumpeted as this big success. So when he runs for president, his campaign song is Tippecanoe and Tyler too. John Tyler being his vice president. And so even though he was known primarily for being a governor, uh, for being a military man, he had all these other things where he was you know, the governor of Indiana, senator of Ohio. Um, in 1836, uh, the Whigs ran a bunch of candidates in different states. And so he got the most electoral votes besides the actual winner, Wyatt Van Buren. In 1840, they decided to run him as this military hero, and he wins. He gives the longest inaugural speech of any president, but since he gets sick and dies, he has the shortest term and no real accomplishments of his presidency. Sometimes it took Congress quite a bit of time to get right into action at this moment. So it's a big what if, okay? What, what could have been if he survived? He's probably better known today by dying than, by, um, than if he had just been a relatively competent uh, president from the 1800s. Uh, I say probably the biggest accomplishment is that he died. Because as you'll see when we talk about John Tyler, it brought into the questions of the presidential line of succession. So, 
That's our, our guy, William Henry Harrison. 